Michelle Joy Phelps, and I'm joined now with the one and only Errol Spence Jr. Errol, can I just say that it's been such a blessing to be able to see the rise of your career um, since being a prospect to where you are today and to possibly be able to witness you becoming undisputed on July 29th. I mean, this must be so surreal for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a long time coming, but we finally here. So, you know, for me, you know, it's something I worked for for a long time, you know, a lot of trials, you know, a lot of tribulations, but it got me to this point. Mm -hmm. So it's just, you know, I got to stay focused. You know, we got a little less than seven weeks to, you know, the best fight in the best, not only in the West Area Division, but we got the best fight in the best, I feel like, in the world. So right. this is going to decide who's the best fighter in the world. Do you feel like your numbers can surpass that of Mayweather versus Pacquiao? Um, I don't know, cause I mean, I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a truthful guy, so I mean, I don't know, cause they, Pacquiao is like an international icon, you know, so you know, even like just old people know who he is, you know, <laughs> old white people know who he is, so you know, everybody's granny knows who he is, you know, soccer moms, you know, <laughs> saying know who who you know Pacquiao and Floyd is, so. You know, I don't know if it's going to surpass them, but it's going to do, it's definitely going to do, you know, better than expected. I have to ask you about what you've had to go through since the accident. You know that God's hand is on you, right? Like yeah. after everything that has happened, there is no way that you, that could ever be disputed that, that <laughs> you, you are supposed to be here today. Yeah, um, I feel like it's a blessing. So even, the, you know, doctors couldn't couldn't fathom, you know, how I made it or so it had to be a you know a high power and I feel like at that time, you know, I was, you know, in the dark space, you know, doing things I shouldn't be doing and that was basically God knocking knocking on my door telling me, you know, hey man, wake up, you're doing the wrong thing. And like, you know, it says, you know, warning come from before destruction. So I feel like that was my warning to, you know, to snap out of it and get back to you know, what got me to this point and what and stay focused, stay determined and stay disciplined and, you know, stay on the right track, not only just in boxing but in life period. And, you know, I feel like that would that what I was missing. But, you know, that crash for me is more of a blessing because it really got me focused and got me honed in on things that got me to this point and just got me more mentally focused. You know better than anybody, you as a fighter know that the mental focus is equally as important as the physical aspect of it all. You know, just trying to keep yourself focused and on the straight and narrow. Is that now something that you can step away from and go, you know what, I'm good now? I'm um, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I had enough. So, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm good now. You know, I'm chilling. Um, you know, I'm, I'm back to, you know, what got me here yeah. and uh, being around the people who who was here, you know, in the dark with me. So, you know, it really showed me who really there for me, who really loved me, and who really there for, you know, Errol Spence, you know. Right, right. The person, not just, you know, the boxer or the guy, you know, who may have a little bit of money. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was a blessing. Right, right. And lastly, um, do you think that when it's all said and done, that you and Terrence will end up being friends? Cause you guys, you guys were quite funny. You had some banter up there on stage. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think so. I mean, <laughs> we we for for you to FaceTime somebody a couple of times. I mean, y'all talk. You know, I don't hate. I don't. I'm not gonna say I don't hate nobody, but <laughs> you know, I don't hate. You know, I don't hate Terrence Crawford. I think you know he probably is a cool dude. Yeah. But you know. I don't think I won't mind his destruction. So, you know, after the fight, you know, yeah, we probably could be cool. You know, he's very ultra competitive. You know, see him playing basketball and all that type of thing. So, you know, we definitely could be cool. But right now, it's all about destruction. Right, right, right. right. Destruction okay. and violence. So. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate thank it you, as always, you. and it's great seeing you. All the best on the night. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, bye, fans. Bye.